Hi everybody. So I wasn't planning on making a video today, but then I went to the grocery store to buy some lunch, and instead of bento boxes, they just had rolls and rolls of sushi. And each sushi roll was like five bucks or more. And so I thought, there's no way I'm paying that much for sushi right now. This is the grocery store. They don't have the best sushi. So I was about to leave and get something else for lunch, and then I realized, wait, it's Setsubun today. I can do whatever I want. So I bought a giant roll of $5 sushi for Setsubun. On top of that, I bought some Setsubun mochi. For those who don't know mochi, mochi is you take rice, you boil the crap out of it, then you pound the crap out of it until it's like this doughy stuff like this. So it doesn't even look like rice anymore, right? But it is. So I bought some of that, and then, naturally, I bought some beans. There was another bag of beans that was a little more inexpensive, probably like 30 yen less, but this one had a demon face, and since we're slaying demons today, well, I guess we're not really slaying them, we're more like banishing them with beans, I got this one. So, if you were here a year ago, you may recall that we did a Setsubun video where I banished demons all around my house by throwing beans all over my house. And then I had to clean up the beans for the next year whenever they randomly popped up around my house. Yeah, they were around for about a year. I did not eat those. However, despite throwing beans, February was still the worst month of the year, so today we're going to do something different. Instead of throwing them around the house, we're going to create our own demon and throw it at him. That's where this face comes in handy. So what I have here, I have some scissors, some beans, and a bowl to put the beans in so we can cut out the oni face. Now, we will take the scissors and surgically remove the oni face from the bag. I must have my bowl ready so the beans fall in the bowl instead of on the ground, because once they fall on the ground, they're spoiled and their effectiveness against demons lessens. I just made that last part up. That's not a part of the actual tradition that I know of. Okay, so we just gotta make a incision there. Then cut around his chin. This is different than last year's beans. Last year, the set I bought was just straight up beans. So this one has the beans, as well as some weird pink things. I don't know what those are. Okay, so let's empty the rest of that out. There we go. We've got our demon slaying weapon ready. Now we'll just continue cutting out his head. There we are. We have our demon face for the Setsubun. So, we even have a little pocket so you can do puppet time. Okay, now let's get some tape. There we go. We have our demon. Now that we have our demon, we just need to banish him with our beans. So, last year we must not have thrown them hard enough so this year, we're going with a nice baseball pitch. So, let's banish that demon, shall we? All right, demon. Prepare. Ah! Ah! 
There! The demon has been vanquished, and my apartment is now demon free. Oh, I forgot the magic words. Ponywa Soto, Kukua Uchi! Now he's banished! Now that we've banished our demons, we must celebrate with a large sushi roll. So if you're one of those people who hates how February has no good holidays, grab a sushi roll, grab some beans, and go banish some demons and get your month started right.